Internet, and welcome to the last episode of Insane Ian Taste Test. That's right, it's the last one. The last hurrah. The last bit of snacks. For a while, anyway. This is the third season. I I've had to end the show before for a an extended period of time because of my health, and that's the same reason that I'm ending the show now. If you missed the explanation in the last episode, just go back and watch the episode where I ate the weird Chips Ahoy chips. It's literally the episode just before this one. So what am I ending on this time? Am I ending on something big, something exciting, something brand new and flavorful? Probably flavorful, but I don't know if it's exciting. It's got more weird Pringles. Honey mustard Pringles, which I like honey mustard. I like honey mustard a lot. I've put it on a lot of things, but on chips, I'm not, I'm not sure. And then I couldn't find the Pickle Rick Pringles. These are a thing that actually existed. They were Pickle Rick flavored. Not pickle flavored, Pickle Rick flavored from Rick and Morty. I couldn't find them. But I did find Screamin' Dill Pickle, which I guess is kind of the same thing. I guess. Anyway, we're gonna try these two awful sounding things and see if they actually taste good. Because this is what my life had become until I decided to stop doing this. And you wonder why my health is so bad. We don't wonder. I know why, because I keep eating this crap. I have to stop. But anyway, I'll stop later. For now, let's eat some chips that taste like a lot of vinegar. These are the extraordinary flavor Screamin' Dill Pickle Pringles. It's just an interesting image on the, the can. I... Yeah, it's a thing. Crack this open and take a whiff. Oh, God. <laughs> that is some dill pickle. Wow. Scent. <laughs> that smells a lot like a dill pickle. It's very vinegary. They smell a lot like pickles. There's no flavor flakes on them, but they definitely smell really strong. Here we go. Yep. With a smell that strong, they definitely taste like they smell. These are pickle chips. They, they taste like pickles. It's amazing. And don't get me wrong, I love pickles. Pickles are great, good for sandwiches and stuff, but having them on the chips is a little strong and there's only so many of those I could probably eat. But I enjoy them. They're not bad. They're, they taste good. I'm limiting myself. I'm trying to be strong. Next up, Pringles Honey Mustard Chips. I don't know how I feel about this, because honestly, honey mustard can be kind of interpreted a bunch of different ways. There's a lot of different styles of honey mustard. Some of them, the mustard isn't as strong a flavor, and it's kind of a creamier kind of thing. Sometimes it's a very strong mustard flavor, and the honey is more subdued. Finding a good balance between honey and mustard in your honey mustard is a great idea, and uh, is usually the types of honey mustards that I enjoy the most. There's an obvious reference I could be making here to uh, a bunch of uh, sketches from friends of mine about honey mustard and tile and other things, but I don't do the voice that well anymore, and I we're just gonna move on. I don't know how they do this. It's amazing, honestly, to me. When foods taste and smell like other foods, it's kind of the whole point of the show, but this smells so much like honey mustard. Strong in the mustard scent, on the mustard side of things, but uh, yeah man, here we go. Now that's surprising. This happens a lot with Pringles too. You get the smell, but then when you eat it, the flavor isn't as strong as the smell is. The aroma tends to overpower the flavor. Let's try licking the chip. We're gonna try to lick the other side. This is the side I had up in my mouth, so we're gonna put this down on the tongue. That's salty as all hell. 
Not getting a very strong honey mustard flavor. There's a flavor there, but it's not strong. It's very subdued. Again, not bad. Kind of get little hints of it in the aftertaste, but overall, not really overpowering. Not as much as the smell is. But yeah, those aren't bad either. Here I was, expecting to kind of hate both of those, and they're both tolerable. Which is kind of what you can say about any of the flavors of Pringles. They're kind of tolerable. They're interesting in their packaging, and that you think that they're going to be kind of wild and outrageous, but Pringles flavors tend to be subdued. Anytime I've had Pringles on this show, the flavors have been very subdued. All right, whatever. Anyway, that's it for insane and taste tests for the immediate future. It's a thing I might come back to, but for the time being, it's got to stop for now. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the show. Uh, if you like this show or the other shows that I do, I do still do videos every week, and it's going to be just stuff other than insane and taste tests. I do do comedy music and music videos that are here all the time, plus tons of other stuff like share subscribe all that good stuff leave comments maybe consider supporting me on patreon because that'll help me make new videos and new songs every month but you know any support you can give is fine it's great just thanks for watching i appreciate it and we'll see you next time goodbye both of these are very strong scents oh that's messing with my brain oh Actually, I could probably do that and not have to eat it, and then my stomach issues would be fine. Probably break my nose, though. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh.